We were called to respond to disaster relief efforts. Our time here has been in response uh, with medevac operations as well as search and rescue and humanitarian assistance relief, providing food and water to remote areas that have been cut off and obstructed by roads or bridges that were destroyed by Hurricane Ian. Aviation tries to be the first ones in due to the capabilities that we have. Knowing this specific mission, uh, knowing there is no way in or no way out unless it's Army aviation uh, is, is truly an honor. Uh, we've come prepared, we have the assets available, and, uh, and we're ready to be called at the beckon of the state uh, as what needs to be over there. During hurricane season, we're prepared. We were activated within 12 hours. There's a lot of training that leads up to it, so being, being able to actually go ahead and do your job is, is fulfilling, not only just for the satisfaction of you know, being able to put your skills to use, but you're actually helping people, and it's been awesome. It's very humbling. My role as a medical evacuation pilot is to respond to someone in the time of need. We train all year long, but there's really no way to prepare yourself for seeing people at the lowest point of their lives. Seeing those people and just seeing their relief, you don't really forget their faces. It's no greater honor than to put ourselves in danger to, to rescue others. Knowing that what we brought and, and the speed of what we brought to that area right after the storm, we were there at daybreak on the island to identify those individuals and get them over to a, a, an area of comfort. It's all the motivation you need. I mean, what would you do if it was your family? At the end of the day, we're ready, uh, we're there, and we're gonna continue to be there until they need us uh, to, to go elsewhere. Simply just to serve our community, you know? Um, you know, the things we do is so that others may live. Um, and that's our whole goal, is to help people 